All right, guys, so this is the main two components for the grill. It's a 14 by 16 inch uh, piece of pipe here. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, cut these little sections off. This is 3 16 uh, of a wall. And the plate I'm gonna use for the sides is gonna be 1 8. All right, guys. So this little thing is getting a uh, getting a shape already, and all of this is going to be filled in. As you can see, this was a, a flat section there, you know, flat section here, and I'm gonna have to kind of adapt it to uh, where it fits the best and go from there. So I'm gonna use this little uh, baby hammer here. You know, the welds look pretty good. I could probably use a little bit more heat on there. But um, this magnet here, as you can see, um, has a little spring in there and it pushes the wire down and it really doesn't make good contact. So if I overheat it, it's gonna melt again. But um, we'll give it a shot. All right guys, so the welds are not the prettiest. Kind of hard to focus on here, but they don't look that bad. I mean, I'll probably round it over or something.
All right, guys, so I got my clamps in place here, and I dropped this a quarter inch below the level line there. Same thing on this side. The thing is, it's a little bit bold here in the center, and I don't want to end up with a gap here in the back. So I'm going to try to wood it up in the back, and then use my clamps up here to apply some tension on there and get things snug. All right, guys, so I was going to work on this and it decided to rain. So that's pretty much it for today. All right, guys, so it's been uh, several days on and off, you know, 30 minutes here, an hour there. And um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, grind all this down, um, fix the little latch here that I made, you know, fix that little bolt there, and um, have it ready to be painted. And now I can get it out of the rain and make the, the little stand for it later on this week. Alright guys, so now I'm gonna I'm gonna put a little brace here. Same thing, I'm just gonna give it a few tacks. So now I'm just going to go ahead and uh, weld all that and I'll just skip over that. Alright guys, it stinks out here. I flipped that over on my square here. Tore it up.
All right, guys, so I didn't want to carry this little barbecue pit. So I got my son's little cart there and got the job done. And here's a little hitch receiver. So we're going to see how she fits and what adjustments we need. All right, guys, so I trimmed it down and um, that's how it's going to look. I'm probably going to put a little uh, set screw here so I can tighten it down and, you know, get it snug. And then just put a a pin over there but I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put this away because it's gonna start raining uh, tonight and I don't want to get it all rusted and give me more work I'm gonna give it a small tack here on the bottom so it doesn't move on me and then I'll finish welding them All right, guys, so it's been about a minute of me shaking this can here. And I like the coverage on it. It seems uh, it does a white pattern. And I'm just giving it a, a light coat and then I'll get another pass. Okay guys, so I went ahead and mounted it and I'm just missing the pin that goes around the bottom because I'm missing a, a drill bit, but we'll get to that a little bit later on. Here it is, just the right height. I did clean this up and oil it a while back, so I'm going to throw some charcoal in there. I got a little chimney there. Throw some charcoal in there and um, toss something in there, see how it cooks. Alright guys, so I like to get an onion and... Uh, just clean my grill grate right like this. Gives it a good uh, aroma to the neighbors. Starts making them peek through the windows. And I'll give it another clean right now. And uh, I'll throw something in there. This is uh, 1.875 pounds, so about 30 ounces or so. And I'm just going to use some McCormick uh, Montreal steak seasoning here. Has a lot of salt, which I like. good and then flip it over and then throw it to the the warmer side or the cooler side and once again I'm in South Texas and uh, we got a lot of mosquito everywhere so that's what we usually use for uh, cooking our meats and stuff I'm going to give it a small turn here. And looking good. Got a lot of little fat here burning up. Alright guys, so it looks pretty uh, 
pretty cooked to me. And hopefully it's like a medium, medium well. So first cook on the 14 by 16 grill here. So we're gonna take this out, let it rest a few minutes and uh, we'll cut into it. All right guys, so I hope I didn't overcook it. Like I said, it's the first time I use this little grill and um, I'll try to play around with the temperatures there. But I'm gonna go ahead and cut it down the middle and uh, we'll see how it looks. So it looks a lot of uh, redder, redder there on the camera, but um, looks pretty good to me. Just gonna add a little bit more uh, seasoning on there. All right, guys, so we got to test um, the product, make sure the grill is working properly. Let me try another piece because it's kind of hard to figure it out. One more piece. You know what guys, the grill works, does its job and um, got some more steak left. All right guys, so that's pretty much it for the video. Uh, we got to try it out and um, I'm going to go ahead and finish this up before my cats get to it. See ya.